Alright, I'm, I'm gonna start this up. What are we in? This is the intro to Vector Man. I'm gonna switch to options, maybe? Alright, welcome back to the At the Ends of Era stream. This is the the gamest devist stream in the world. And I'm your host, Jack Four. This intro is getting less and less coherent. But anyway, today I have I have some things, but let's see what I did uh, during the break. <coughs> Let's see, so last week, I did some stuff. This week, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed it off. I think I showed it off. The fun little uh, additions. Also, I need to fix that at some point, but I don't care that much. But yeah, so we have our lovely little city. I like this place. I think I'm gonna put some more stuff here soon, but that's not today's objective. Today's objective is, uh, I think I'll do some code refactoring today. Because basically I have some, I have some stuff I want to do with the tutorials. I think that'd be good. Because two, I guess kind of hopefully easy tasks are one to create tutorials for when the player gets a gun to teach them which button they press to switch to that gun and then also changing my um changing my tutorial code so that way i don't hard code the images that it uses and instead i just set like you know this is the tutorial for the crouch button and then it figures out which button it needs to show because right now it's just like i just have i just hard code the image for a particular prompt. Oh yeah, and I also need to fix, there's a bug with um, things loading in. So let's see if I can trigger that. Cause basically it'll be, uh, this is currently white because I haven't fixed it yet. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. So for some reason, it unloads for a few seconds but then it loads right back in because it knows that there's some instant unloading. So like it turns green and then it loads back in. And then in a few seconds we should have the, uh, I guess it should unload again. I don't, I'm not sure the rules on it, but I know approximately what's causing it. Because it's an error I've, I've fixed and then rebroken multiple times. God, these reflection probes look so terrible. Like, look at this ugly blue lighting. It gets uglier and uglier. I swear it looks completely different than it used to. It's just getting worse and worse. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so there's something weird with that time gun pickup. I'm gonna see what that's about, because that's in, uh... That's here anyway, and I need to do the fini finishing touches here. But okay, time gun pickup. Can I get it to? Okay, and then I need to, and then I need to do this again. So I need to exit out of that, and then okay. Have we finished this? I mean, why isn't it? Hmm. 
<clears throat> I don't know what this means. Maybe this needs to be ready before this? I don't think that would be the case. But maybe. I'll just see how that looks. Alright, and I think I know what the issue is with the world. I recently changed the uh, load queue. So, it has... Um, where is pro update active chunks? So, if instant or must load zone, load sync, and then queue load. Yeah, this is the thing. It needs to do this. It always needs to do this unload. And for load sync, it needs to do the same thing. Well... Hang on. How do I do must load? Okay, it is just load sync. This may be a bit of a concern because now Uh, oh wait, actually, oh wait, no, okay, this should be fine, I think, because load async is the one that's used for queuing the load, because I was worried that this was, like, going to cause a race condition, but this is always executed in the main thread, not in, because this is the one that's executed in a, in a different thread. Okay, and I think that should mark it good. Because otherwise it was unloading it, even though it was successfully like queued for load. So the test will be, I guess just keep, keep like running around in here until the world either unloads or it doesn't. And hopefully I figure out a way to... I'll just put like a bunch of stuff up here. So that way that this this reflection probe can still be here without like messing up stuff. Eventually, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this, or if I'm even going to keep this, because I've been thinking, this is just too big. Like, this this big panel, it's just too big. There's no way I'm going to actually be able to make, like, good content for this whole thing in a reasonable amount of time, given how long it took just for the, just for, like, underneath this thing. thing I'm gonna do. Uh, let's, let's do that right now. Just a little, uh, I want the fort, but I want just, let's do, uh, that and the ramp. Yeah, so I just want these without the collision. And this will be like what you can see from the very dis or from like a distance away. So let's also add um
And I suppose if I really wanted to, I could eventually merge it together into one bigger mesh and then like decimate it or something. Or like do a bunch of stuff, but uh, making perfect handcrafted like LOD models is probably out also outside of the time. So I'll just have like the bear city available from or visible from far away. Let's see if that that popped in. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see it off in the distance on that hill there. Let's see. Also, Jackie sometimes kind of pops in place on her uh, scooter. And I think that's because there's a bug with Blender or Godot's animation blending where it doesn't properly blend more than two animations together. There was a PR to fix it that was never merged, that I merged into my own branch at some point, but I think it got, I think I, it was lost when I, in one of my various, like, rebases. That okay. And that's a hyper god type of enemy, so I'm not going to mess with him for now. Also, I should probably figure out something else to put down here. Also, I should actually do the task that I was intending to do. So let's let's say that that's fixed for now. And now, first I'm going to refactor the tutorials. Okay, good. I think. Hmm. Let's just say text and let's do Show prompt input. Oh, wait. I'm actually going to do this. But. Let's do like. Uh, This is going to be tricky. Because I need to figure out if Alright, I need to I need a refresher on Godot's input mapping. Let's get some documentation in here. Input map, all right. Get action list, get actions. Hmm. Okay, so get action list is what I want for the uh, input events. So for action in input actions, what I'm going to do right now is uh, for inputs in
Oh wait. If not. And so I get the full code, or get the full path to that tutorial that has the problem action. And then four inputs in input map, get action list. Hmm. I'm gonna need to create a way of serializing, or like naming tutorials. Hmm. Get input string. I know. So this is going to return a string. For now, I'm just going to print get input string input. And then there's going to be a constant inputs or um, let's do uh, UI. Eventually, I'm going to need to figure out how to actually preemptively save resources. Nah. Eventually, I'll just have, like, a node that's, like, the resource manager. And then you just... It'll just have, like, lists of resources. And then you can just drag and drop... I'll just drag and drop every resource in the game into it. Or all the resources that aren't, like, automatically considered used. Because basically... If you call load on a file, it doesn't, like, Godot doesn't remember that it's going to be used. And so it tries to remove unused resources when you export your game. So, like, um, basically, if I get it through some generated path and then call load on that instead of preloading it, it'll be deleted if I export. So I'll have to, at some point, just manually, like, drag and drop them all into some list somewhere so Godot can keep track of them. But anyway, we have our prompt path. And that's going to be UI slash prompts. Slash F, or no, S. Um. Yeah, eventually I'll just make all of them, uh... Yeah, they're all PNGs right now. And I'm also gonna do...
So it'll be... Platform slash input. I, I already did this wrong. New folder. So that eventually I can have like different types of gamepad support. Right now I'm just gonna have generic gamepad and then keyboard. So I should rename this. Wait, where did I put... Hang on, I think... I think some of the stuff disappeared. Oh, no. I put them in the wrong full... Yeah, okay. There we go. So these will need to be renamed to, like, gamepad and then the number, I think. Because I'm going to do, uh... Hmm. This music's a bit, a bit too much for me. So I'm going to switch it to... Let's do Card City Nights 2. There we go. I guess I could have just made it quieter as well, but oh well. Get input string. Let's do get I wonder if I can make a drop down of all the available actions, because they must be listed somewhere. Okay, that's good. Oh, and I just realized I'm gonna have to redo all of the tutorials. Hopefully there's not too many. I'll have to, I'll have to go through each and every chunk, I think. Hmm. So I just realized this doesn't actually do what I want right now, but okay, if input is input event joy button. return plus string dot. 
uh, button index. See what is button index? Okay, and then input event key. Scan code Unicode. Can I get it as text? Oh, okay. OS dot get scan code string. button index. <clears throat> so actually what I should do is I'm just going to for a in get or get actions for So this doesn't give an actual path yet, it just gets the string version of it. Because I'll have to do a bit more work here. Because I think it should actually enumerate the... Um, it should figure out if we're using controller first, and then it should use that to enumerate through the actions. So like you can only get the prompt path with the action itself. But okay. This should at least get us some stuff. And I think this will print a bunch because I think there's more than one tutorial prompt already on the player. Let's see if it did. It did not. Uh, let's just add area. Collision shape with a shape, and it will have no collision, but it will have a tutorial. All right, so now we should have tons and tons. Yes, we do. We have tons and tons of actions. Key enter, key, keypad enter. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to also low, like lowercase all this stuff.
Actually, maybe like two. I guess to lower. Because I want, um, because there's this capitalize. And then I want it to do mixed with underscores. So I don't know what function I call to do that, because I don't think it's necessarily too lower. Because I just don't want spaces in the keypad or keyboard buttons. I guess I could just, hang on, I'm just going to replace. So let's just do two lower dot replace spacebar with underscore. Hmm? There's not even a there's not even a key for that one. Okay. But yeah, now we have a pretty good start. Oh, I need joypad event access, though. Pad motion. Okay. Event motion. Yeah. Turn axis plus. And I think I'm not going to do anything fancy with the um, with like the direction of the axis, because I don't really care. The player can figure out if they press up on the analog stick to move forward or backward. Because what really matters is which analog stick or which like uh, analog button they need. And I think that's everything. So let's run it again. Because hopefully it won't be different axes. Let's see, so move down. What's concerning me though is that the key there, like there's a. Like two lower. Does that replace something? Am I missing something with that? It seems like, yeah, because we have key home, key M. What are these? Wait, why do I, ha also, why do I have two prompts for, hang on. Whip underscore one. Oh, is it physical versus, um, uh-oh, hang on.
I think it might be physical versus logical. <clears throat> All right, I'll just change him to... Yeah, I'll just, I guess, because it doesn't even make sense to have these, like, it's I for inventory, it's like, that's cute. No, it's not. Like, it should just be in the same place. I think that's what it is. It could, though, is it the opposite? Actually, yeah, I'm thinking it's the opposite. That physical keys have, oh well. Debug console quote left, debug toggle animator F2, hover toggle T, map zoom out, Let's see, physical key, I guess alt, map zoom in, weapon four. Also, now they show inventory should actually be, uh, I think it should be tab. Or do I use that for the map? Wait, how do I know if I use the physical scan code or the other one? Yeah, because it's this, it's this, this is the difference. Like, how do I tell? Because it, it's clear that it's this, uh, all right, I'll just do physical. I'll just do physical scan code for all of them. And if it doesn't work, uh, I don't know what to tell, uh, or I don't know. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just change it if I need to. Yeah, because now we have our things.
All right, now we got all of them. So now I can start renaming all my prompts to match this stuff. Like, um, let's see if I can find climb here. Cam up, cam left. I just realized for keys I can just automatically generate this. Like I don't need these anymore. I don't think. Yeah, I'll completely remove these. Let's just make a new scene called uh, Oh wait, I need a control. So this will be a panel container. This needs to go with the theme, I think. I'll figure out where this is eventually. But we'll have a new panel. Let's make it like partially transparent. There we go. And also we need uh, expand margins. Let's do like Yeah, there we go. So if the input event action is a key, uh, I can put it here. I actually want a different size for this. Let's do, don't I have fonts already? I think it's under components, big font. Uh, maybe not. I will do bold, but I'll do, uh, that. So that way you can have something like space or escape.
or like F. And those will have, I guess it'll be good like that. Let's add a bit more horizontal spacing. So that way, yeah, for single characters, it'll still be like that. This does mean, though, that I have to um, that I have to also rework the visual UI for the tutorials in order for them to either have a key prompt or the button, which I guess makes more sense because that way I can do. Um, let's see. Whatever I do. Actually, maybe I should just have a generic, like, prompt shower. So, like, so, like, you just set the action and like the controller type or something and then it chooses all this stuff and that way I can just put that everywhere and I don't have to have the code duplicated anywhere and it'll be like UI prompts keyboard key prompt and it'll have a texture rectangle and this will be like a uh, Hmm. I know. Let's say that it's like 128 by 128. Why is this 132? Weird. I'll do expand. merge from scene actually let's just make this local because I don't actually need like two scenes for that it's literally like one item okay so UI input prompt so it'll be in components and I'm gonna remove this key prompt thing And I guess I could also just have like, um... no, I was going to say I could have this be the thing that has like all of the, uh, the list of different prompts, but that would be dumb. 
essentially. Let's call this, let's, uh, let's not shrink it. Well, actually, yeah. Let's shrink it, but let's have the minimum size be like 64 by 64. And then here, this will be centered. Yeah. And I wonder if this also, if this properly like aligns stuff. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because I want it to. Oh. Let's change this. I wonder if container, just generic container. No, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, the issue with the issue with this is that these these anchors don't update when the size changes. Like this position. Hmm. Why is this so weird? Export string action set get set action. Missing action. So I'll have show text which does uh, texture dot hide key prompt dot show prompt dot label equals text. to get visibility changed.
essentially when you show and hide it, it'll check, it'll refresh this, because otherwise uh, this using gamepad has to work other differently. I don't know what I'm talking about. But okay, let's just do um, input. If not input. So at the very end, it'll do unbound. Otherwise, for I get action list action if oh wait and I should return button or event is joypad motion Okay. So if we're using the gamepad, it'll return at the first instance of input event joy button or input event joypad motion. If we're not using a gamepad, then it returns at the first in input event key or input event mouse button. And then we can get, I'm gonna get this back. See, I like all this crap. It's going to go away. All it's going to do is show prompt with uh, input action. And this stuff, this will be what I use for here. Let's do function get string key mouse axis. And then if input is key return or text get, I know.
So it's basically this, which is no longer needed there, except it doesn't do the two lower and dot replace. And also I might not even do that. And not this either. And do I even need this? I mean, I guess it I guess it'll be handy in case I need it for some other reason. No, it won't. Okay, so this should now work with um, I guess stuff. All right, I'm gonna try and get all of this uh, stuff open. So I need like the wardrobe So like, these are no longer here. And what does this have? It'll have uh, prompts. So this will be um, UI, UI accept. I gotta change these as well. <clears throat> and I don't think there's anything there with like using the gamepad otherwise. Player, um, So I don't think, like, where is this node from? Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Show prompt.
actions. So I can still only have up to two prompts at the same time. Does this shrink still? This should actually be much easier because I don't even need this uh, tutorial equipment anymore. I'm just going to have the tutorial embedded. Let's do um, actions. Is that what it is? Choose equipment? Or maybe like use item or something? Choose item. Greater than a uh, use item, I guess. I guess this will be translate.
Okay, I think this is all of it. Let's go through each one. So 112 is where most of the tutorials are. Let's open this anyway. Tutorial. Wow, it takes a long time. It's like getting slower. Every single time I use it, it gets slower. It's very cool. Oh. Oh yeah, I no longer have this. Then I'm going to remove this. And they should be enabled by default, honestly. Crouch plus jump equals crouch jump. Oh no, I, I did MV crouch. Did I do MV jump too? did. Plus, um, what was it? Combat, uh, combat spin. Air kick. Um, Maybe spin kick would be more. Ah, that's fine.
Also, I'm going to say that these do not get ready there. It's only when they're shown or when the action is explicitly set after that. Let's see. And I also need the world tutorial prompt. So there's these, which I do not need at all. Because it'll just be. Uh... Wow, this was a terrible system before. I should get a bigger screen. This computer is starting to like creak and go bad. <clears throat> okay, let's see let's see if this works with the gamepad cuz it it isn't going to work with the or no, with the keyboard. It's not going to work with the gamepad yet. Let's just start a new game. And let's see how many things break. Can I press? I can press escape there. OK. I'm going to set that as the, the main one. So UI cancel. Hopefully that doesn't cause issues. Oh wait, actually I don't think this even does the right thing. Yeah, let's remove that, let's add that back. Because what I actually need here is a uh, pause. But that does work, which is good. Now all I need to figure out is uh, how to make the the things not look bad. You know what I mean? I know what I mean. This needs to be wider. Um, Wait, how is this not, like... Okay. But whatever, this should be just pause. Hmm. Wow. Responsive. Okay, but well that's nice that that works. The game feels terrible on mouse. 
Actually, hang on. Maybe it'll feel better if I hide this window. Oh, now, it okay. Yeah, this game feels horrible on mouse and keyboard. I would absolutely not recommend it. But that's just because playing games on mouse and keyboard is in general terrible. Where'd the little boy go? Wasn't he supposed to be up here? Like, I'm literally doing... Hang on. There's there's a completely unrelated bug, which is that now Tutorial Tyler is no longer tutorializing. Where did he go? Where is little Tyler? Oh, wait. Okay. I just realized. Wait, no. Where the fuck is Tutorial Tyler? Huh? He's here? What am I looking at? Tyler's mom. What the fuck is this? Where the fuck... Huh? What the fuck is this? What am I fucking looking at? Hang on. I need to, I need to undo some stuff. One. Why is why is the tutorial area parented to Tyler? Two, the tutorial prompts. Oh, I just realized. Okay, never mind. That actually is correct. Okay, so the tutorial area needs to be somewhere else then. Oh wait, no. What actually? I'm confused. Why the why the fuck is this here? What? Oh crap. Okay. At long last, I get it. Okay. Reset works. It's because I need to have, um, Tutorial Tyler is messed up. He was put in the wrong place, and he can't be parented to the, uh, oh wait, actually, I have a, I have a much better idea. He just needs to be here. Maybe, if I can just do that. There we go. Now, there we go. He isn't, he, um, that's still, <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, man. When did I, when did I mess with this thing? What did I do to poor Tyler? And yeah, the tutorial prompts are actually supposed to be disabled by default. And I will eventually 
figure this out. This is horrible. And it's like, I can't like redo this because this will take like hours. And also, I really like how moving the mouse like makes this move at like 0 0.001. So I have to just manually enter these in. This is actually kind of close. Like, this isn't that bad, actually. Um, maybe if I do like four there, no, I think that's getting, I think that's, that shouldn't be changed. I don't think. I wonder if I can move it from like down here. No. And why is, hang on. Did I, when did I, how badly did I screw this entire thing up? Like why is, why is this like up, why is she up here? When did I move? Did I move the entire world by five meters? What the fuck? I seriously. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I did actually. I genuinely did move. It seems that. Hang on, hang on. Yes, I, I screwed something up. Hang on. What did I screw up? Hang on. What have I done? Um, I'm gonna completely unsave this. I'm gonna revert that. Cause I don't think I did anything important there other than the tutorial prompts, which are fine. T E uh, check out areas. Chunk one twelve dot TSCM. Okay, let's let's be very methodical with this. So is the world screwed up? No. Good. So that means that tutorial Tyler is screwed up. But okay, I'm gonna be right back. I need to.
this is why when you're animating things, so Godot pro tip, when you're animating things like that move, always put them inside some like object that's like right there, like right next to where you are. Because now poor little tutorial Tyler, he's all screwed up. He can't even live in the village anymore. I mean, it's just tragic. Okay. But that did fix it. I had, I had, somehow in my in my like panic, I had accidentally moved everything in the whole world. Okay, but let's do tutorial prompts. So these are on. No, move, crouch, move, jump. Roll, jump. There we go. And these should be disabled. input prompt. Elif input is or actually else. Let's do, um, prompt pad generic, let's say the And if not gamepad,
So this is where the constant will be. I should have I should not have removed tutorial prompt so soon. So it equals um I know if resource loader dot exists. Prompt var t equals load prompt show texture t else show text. Um, oh, I actually need this. And I'm going to call this image. But it'll be uh, Hi. Let's see, I'm almost done with my new UI prompt thing. Texture equals image. And this should work for everything except for, let's see, so I need to rename a few things. It'll be, these will probably have to be renamed and these ones will have to be renamed once I figure out what they are. Gamepad 11. Oh, actually. Okay, so I think for here, I need to have that. Because I need this to be, yeah, this does actually need to be UI cancel, not pause. Yeah, there we go. And then if I switch in the middle of that, um, you know, I'm gonna remove backspace entirely from my uh, but I don't think that'll change here but that's okay right, and I think I'm gonna add some more music because I don't really like this particular song the card city nights one soundtrack Okay, and let's see if the tutorial works again. So what is that? Gamepad 6? So that's this. Alright. I'm going to start renaming these now. I actually have no idea what the other ones are.
Let's see if I can improve the frame rate here. And this will make it a lot less painful to do uh, tutorials now, because I don't have to drag and drop anything. Let's trigger a combat scenario. Wait, this still sends me in the air. I thought I fixed that. Oh, I know what it is. There's a different behavior when I'm sliding versus when I'm, uh... Oh, well. I'll figure that, that out soon. Because it's not that big a deal. And also, I'm going to completely rework this area, because now, in-universe, this is like a storage area. And this doesn't make sense at all for storage. It's just like a pile of rubble. But maybe that'll be much later. Also, I should figure out what I want to do with this V-shaped geometry. Because I think I may want to make it so the player can just walk here. But I don't actually know. Like, because I don't think you collide with both of them at the same time in Godot. It's sort of funky with how it handles that geometry. Because, like, you slide down, like, let's say this wall. And then you slide down this wall. So I'd have to keep track of multiple collisions over time. So that'll be, that'll be annoying to deal with. Hmm. Let's see. Thread reference to object was lost, wait to finish was not called. This stuff. That's all fine. Let's just add everything. Wait, I should have renamed all the gamepad things first. All right. Uh, gamepad button numbers. Stick to. Uh, is this right? I don't think this is right. Maybe it's X input. Zero, one, two, three. I think that's what I have. 
No, zero, one, two, three. I'm just going to look up Gitto. Game pad. Wait, I don't even need to do that. I just remembered. It, it literally just says it right here. So like button 3. Button 11. So this one is Game pad 7. Combat aim, combat aim toggle. Oh yeah, also I need to figure out what the mi er, mice are called. Or the mouse buttons. See, button four or button five for R one. And then button um this needs to be that. Show inventory actually does okay, I got confused with these. Choose item, debug console, hover toggle, button four. Okay. So game pad four, pad five. And now, if I want to, I can then further, like, if I can figure out how to identify them. I can get a more specific gamepad and I can like make a new folder for each of them for like PlayStation and Xbox and things like that. And also eventually I need to change it so that um Nintendo controllers they flip A and B. So it'd be really confusing if they have to press B to like accept dialogue and stuff and A to go back. So I'll have to figure out a way of flipping those when the player switches controllers. I guess I can just whenever the every time the player like inputs a controller it'll flip them if they're in, if it detects that it's like a Nintendo controller. Hopefully that isn't confusing. And I'll even make a, an option in like the options menu to disable that. Let's see, what else do I need to do today? I want to have custom player. Yeah, let's say that there's going to be some custom item tutorials or something. Well, what do I do with weapons? If in weapons, gun dot add weapon. I guess I'll keep that stuff and I'll just have um Uh 
Oh, wait. Yeah. Let's just do this here. Translate, um, let's see. What should the official name of the time gun be? Let's just call it time gun. Okay, now this won't work on... Um, this won't work with the gamepad currently because I don't have any like prompts for these set up. But I can at least test it with the keyboard. So let's go to the test world. And this should just work with uh, with this. So now I can just do like four, three, two, one. All right. And I guess. See. Oh no, I forgot. I'm streaming till eight today. So yeah, that'll be fine. Missing action for node. Oh okay. What does that mean? So there's no action. Let's do if action equals return. Actually, let's do uh, So yeah, if there's no action, it'll just hide without doing anything. Oh wait, it should, hang on. It should still do this though. Hang on, I need to undo my mistakes. Yeah, if there's no action, it does that. If it, if an action is being, attempted to set but it doesn't exist then it prints this and then it won't try to do anything further though I guess it should also do this oh wait no it'll do that Let's try F6 again. So I'm, I'm gonna try it with the gamepad. Yeah, 
gamepad 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's just up, down, left, right. Interesting. 13, 12, 13, 14, 15. paint actually I'm gonna do I'm gonna try inkscape I've had terrible luck with it in the past it's like pulling teeth just miserable to deal with what did I do It, I find it extremely difficult to work with when I want to export to like uh, specific image sizes because it's like you have to edit it in like 15 places. Like I have to edit the pixels here, and then here, and then uh, let's see. I think it'll be because it's going to be a 128 by 128 pixel. Uh, let's do that. So I think that gives me what I need. I'm going to save this now as gamepad 12. Mm-hmm. I should probably do that. Or even figure out how their uh, textures work. Let's see, is this? Yeah, like, what does this mean? Oh, okay. That makes sense. I have, I had no idea that there's even different meanings to those. So I need some guides. Um, hmm. And I'm going to get a tutorial on how to put guides. Yeah, I'll try and set up the grid.
guess 16 would be right. see what exactly do I want here I think I know See, how did I put Okay, so they have a white outline. I'll just do a black outline with a white body. And it'll be in pixels. And it'll be, I, I guess it'll be slightly larger. But okay, that should be good. Yeah, I guess this is better now that I've like got grids and stuff working. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can, I'm either just going to accept it and just export the drawing instead, so it'll be slightly larger anyway. Because I'm already slight, because I already think I'm doing the exact same thing with my other drawings. And let's see, this one is the up arrow. Let's do 27. And for this one, I want black, I guess. So 
this will be prompt add generic. Actually, before I, I'm going to disable the stroke on this. So that way I'll have slightly less work. So I think then it was left. So this will be um, Okay. And also, I forgot to. Where is my status menu? Oh, okay, here it is. What is this script? UI button prompt. I'll keep it for now. So I need a prompt here and a prompt. Uh, here, I think. So this is UI page up. Is that the right thing? Yeah. And I think... See, I'm going to add some more keys to UI page up and page down, just in case the player doesn't have a page up and page down.
Hmm. All right, but let's see if this looks good. I think I'm going to change, I know how I'm going to change this. So this input prompt, currently it just has a blank control. I'm going to make this a panel container, or some kind of container. Maybe just a, yeah, I think a margin container actually. I know, it's going to shrink. But then, for example, if, well, this thing's minimum size would be 128. So that way, that'll be like that. And the minimum size for this key prompt I guess it'll be like 64 by 64. So that way it never gets too small. And that way this actually like controls the size properly. So I'm gonna test it with the Hmm. Let's not expand the margin so much, I think. Yeah, now it's a bit more reasonable. Though, for some reason, that's those are very big. Maybe a panel container? Because I'm thinking, what can I do that won't like stretch like this? Because I want this key prompt thing. Can it shrink? Yeah, I think that's good. A center container would be good. And so that way, these can hopefully be managed. Yeah, that's not terrible.
was I testing? I need to test my gun prompt. All right, we got up. Yeah, I think I'll shrink down the, I think I'll shrink it down slightly. I just realized I didn't actually look very closely at those num or at those prompts as they went by. Okay, that is correct. Left, down, up. Yeah. Okay, those are good. Hmm, I think, oh wait, no. That door doesn't close unless you're, okay, that makes sense. I guess I'll play in here for a little bit. Oh, these aren't sync. Hang on, these need to sync to physics if I want to use this right. Uh, all right, I'll call that good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink down my things. Uh, let's add, let's change the grid size to, um, maybe I can just shrink it down by 8 pixels. Um, I'll do 4. Yeah. You know, I guess create it, or I guess ink state isn't so bad once I actually like know how to use it. Actually, can I make these? Oh, I can smooth them. I think. Um, I'll do that some other time. I think that'll be a bit, uh...
Oh, wait, I just realized they're exporting at the wrong resolution. Uh, oh well. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I think there's only one area in the game where I actually have um, tutorial prompts. It's like uh, this one, chunk 57. Let's see. I swear there's more tutorials in this area. Because, like, once you get this... Is it only this one? Oh, no, okay. So it's this one, and for some reason I also decided to have this completely unrelated prompt attached to it as a child. Oh, okay. Why do I only have this? Combat shoot is what I call it. And also, so I don't forget, I'm going to add the management. Let's just add a new scene called uh, Resource Preserver. So this will have all of my prompts because they're passively loaded. Um, what else should it have? It should have the weapon prompts. All of these as well. found animation player relative to oh okay there's something that doesn't have a there's something that's a door but it doesn't actually have an animation okay let's add all this stuff just realized there is one more place so areas chunks 124 this has some pistol stuff village area tutorials
And this one, I actually do need a new script. Uh, how do I enable? Yeah, start weapon tutorial. Um, so for this, I need um, toggle aim. Combat aim. So combat aim toggle. If global dot using gamepad. else combat aim because when you're using the mouse you don't toggle the aim all right and then I can put all of these I'll just put something like this for all of the other prompts if I need them See, I don't think, no, I don't have a, I don't have a pistol. Oh, wait, why? When I pressed B there, hang on, hang on. I messed up something with the Armstrong's dialogue. Uh, project. Dialogue, intro, Armstrong, exiting. I've got to go see you. And then, okay. Well, question solved. There was no exit. His feet firmly planted in the sand. Let's see. So I'm using bullet physics because. I actually had to make a minor change, so I tested Godot's physics briefly, and I was having bad issues with um, sticking, like the character would just stick into the ground at points. And I've tried Godot 4 as well, and I think the problem is still there. So, and then bullet physics is, well I haven't had any actual problems using it, 
I do think there might be performance issues because I can't have very many kinematic bodies at the same time. But I'm not sure if I'm not sure uh, how performant it would be, given how it's structured. But otherwise, I haven't had any like major bugs or anything. I did have some minor issues with the uh, with the specific implementation of kinematic like move and slide. Um, actually, I guess it wouldn't be that many. It'd probably be like like all these enemies, so they'd be like, I think with like 10 or 15, I could sometimes get down to like five milliseconds per frame. Though now that I've said that, I can't remember how, well, uh, or hang on, I'm trying to collect my thoughts because basically it's, hard sometimes to estimate the performance impact of the physics because when the frame rate is low it runs the physics frames multiple times per frame so that balloons the amount of time that they take because it's like if you're running at like 30 fps it doubles the amount of physics frames that you have but the bottleneck could be somewhere else it just looks bad so now i can't remember if it was five milliseconds in like the best case where it was just running once per frame or if that was like a bad case because sometimes it's like you know calling like five times per frame because something else is causing performance issues but yeah i switched these guys to rigid bodies after like um once i was once i had more than like 10 at a time And admittedly, they're still kind of janky with the rigid body physics, but they're okay. Yeah, and that's also specifically using the like move and slide methods, because I think I think it just syncs up with the physics engine normally with the um, if you just move them through animations and stuff. Yeah, I do need to improve these. I need to improve these guys because they sometimes like go sideways and stuff and upside down. Though it's fun making them in fight. Let's see. All right, I forget what I was testing there. Um, I'll figure out what this stuff is soon. Yeah, no problem.
Yeah, I don't mind Godot, but I have been running up into, I guess, interesting issues with a game of this, like, size. Because it's, it's a pretty big sort of 3D game. And I think Godot, well, it's kind of straining under the weight, so I may have to... Or, so I've had to do some funky stuff. And let's see. I think that's going to be about it for today. Because I've met basically all my goals. And I'll be streaming more tomorrow. I guess I'll debug this stuff that I put here. Visuals. I need to fix... Fix proximity fade. Thanks for stopping by. I'm also streaming, let's see, tomorrow and every day. Well, I stream every day except for Friday and Sunday. So I guess I'll maybe see you tomorrow or feel free to stop by whenever you want. Bye.